Last thing we're going to look at before I get into the stock market is ZB forward slash ZB. You could see beautiful cyclical harmonics, as we call it. Cycles are like music. You have this big dominant cycle here, and it's made up of minor thirds. That little that that ghost cycle you see right there is an older cycle that we left in there because we want to see if it's still affecting the market. It's out of phase, as we call it. But you can see it kind of comes down perfectly right in here. Also, there are minor thirds. You can see that. So this is the first minor third, the second one, and the third one. The third one, when it lines up with the big one, gives you the bigger decline. And that's what we got right there. So where are we right now? We are in the second minor third. And it blasted up over there and then started to come off uh, as uh, we got that negative PPI number. And uh, the stock market was weak early on, but then it started to come down. And it's rejecting that area up there. Our upward target was around 80, uh, 180 or higher, and it got well through that. Uh, and now uh, you can see it's establishing a little bit of a high range right over there. We'll expect that uh, maybe that 181 and a half is the uh, highest we'll see. We're going to look for a little choppy correction over here over the next couple of weeks, as you can see. And this is a buy zone as we think it's going to explode back up. And for our members, we have sent out the new chart grid, which uh, has the upgrades in it on. Uh, and of course, the updates on all of the, the charts in that uh, whole suite of charts that we send out on each of the futures. So uh, the ZBs uh, look to us great, momentum strong. Some of the evidence says intermediate patterns strong and up and momentum up in all time frames. And that just says you continue to buy the dips. We'll look for a pullback uh, uh, into maybe that 170. This is this level right here is about 179.07. This one, the bottom is about 178 and three quarters. So that's kind of the area over this next week and a half or so, maybe two weeks before it then does start to move to the upside uh, again. That that could be um, you know some indication of stocks last hurrah. In other words, right over here, as the bond market pulls back, that's probably the area that the stock market top is going to come because these are also inversely correlated, though the correlations have not held up uh, as well. And uh, in my history, though, going back to when I was trading on the floor in the 70s and 80s, the stock market was positively correlated to the bond market. So in other words, uh, bond market went up, stocks went up. As the bond market went down, yields uh, are then going up, and the stock market will go down. So we're in a period for quite a while of a panicky situation where the Fed is in control or trying to be, and the inverse correlation is really as uh, what has held up in here. So that is a look at the bond market.